all right so now we are going to discuss the first example of turing machine say turing machine as a transducer so turing machine as a trans do sir now as you might see the transducer means when there is an input it would take that input process it and then it would generate some output that's what transducer means so we can let's say for the basic and the most simplest example we are taking that one's complement and we are going to see how it's implemented by a turing machine so as we know that turing machine is basically uh, it, it can go left i mean right and left while it can change the input on the tape so let's say if the input is uh, over 0 and 1s and suppose the input given in uh, input given is 101001 so the the required or the expected output is going to be the one complement of this one that is 010110 that we know we have seen that in mule and mule machines but now how are the turing machine works to get the output of like this um so what happens is in the start state qs now wait uh, uh, now important thing is the pointer is here when we are starting and it would it would uh, go right and uh, it would change the inputs to outputs the required output and then also the pointer should be back on the where uh, on the position where it began because that's how we read it like the strings are read from left to right so for the convenience the pointer must be on the left most side so we would keep we would keep that uh, check later on but now what happens is so we know that in the input tape it would be like 101001 then on the right it's blank blank on the left it's blank blank so here is the start state so what would happen here so the po the pointer is here so it would change it to zero it would change it to one it would change it to zero change it to one change it to one then zero and once it reaches this point that is blank it would keep on moving left so this uh, the initial condition is if the input is 1 then make it as 0 then move right all right or if the input is 0 then make it 1 then move right then we are moving right right we are moving right and we are doing this operation then once you reach like a blank keep it as blank then move left move left because we are going to be back here and uh, then this state q1 it would be now remember that it would be blank again so now while become while uh, we are here we are going to go back to the left because that we have mentioned here to the new state now while going back we can encounter any number of ones any number of zeros which are already changed so we are don't we are not going to do any kind of operation there so leave them as it is while encountering 
uh, the zeros and ones while going to the left side so here would be uh, if zero is encountered keep it as zero move left if one is encountered keep it as one then move left and then then the next state would be once you reach blank once you reach again blank keep it as blank then move right now this right operation is just going to bring the pointer to the leftmost uh, symbol that is uh, the final state or I mean there is no final state here it's just a halting state here so it is going to halt here after uh, moving the pointer from uh, blank to this rightmost position now um, I hope this kind of doing this is uh, all right or uh, now this is my first example I mean explaining the example here it may be some kind of uh, faulty so please uh, point that out in the feedback so yeah that's it that's the um, Turing machine for uh, one's complement and the example of Turing machine being a transducer.